Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about writing an essay. And on here I have kind of broken up day by day the parts of the essay so we can focus on just one part at a time before we really jump into writing one all in one sitting in a class period. So I have shared with you all one of my most favorite resources. This is on the internet, free for anyone to look at, and it's from SouthShoreInternational.org. It's a Melcon packet that has everything you ever will need in regards to writing an essay in Melcon format. So, um, first of all, they have the 12 and a half writing rules. And then you can see there's a table of contents. But for today on the agenda, it says that we should first go to page eight. So let's just scroll down to page eight and look at the overall layout of an essay so you know where we're headed. All right, so we're gonna talk about writing a five paragraph essay. First paragraph is your introduction. You can think about the acronym ACTS, A-C-T-S, and that will help you remember what goes in that paragraph. And we'll talk more about that in a minute. You'll have three body paragraphs. They'll each be in Melcon format. So we think of those as M, tell, 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 con. And lastly, you will have a conclusion. That'll be your fifth paragraph. The acronym for a conclusion is STAC, S-T-A-C. And we'll talk about what that means when we get to conclusions. But today we're actually just going to focus on the introduction. So let's see what the agenda says to do next. Now that we know when we write an essay there will be five paragraphs, let's start putting some of this together. Next thing we want to do is go to page 11 and 12 and now we know the overall structure of the essay. We're going to have five paragraphs, an introduction, a conclusion at the end and three body paragraphs in the middle. I like to look at some samples of what an introduction looks like so I know what's expected of me. It always helps me to look at a sample. So if I scroll down to pages 11, which is right here, and then 12 is the next one, it talks about some ways to begin your writing. And to me, the most difficult part is, where do I start? Once I get started, it seems like I'm okay. So here are some typical ways that you can start out your introduction. First of all, you're going to start out with the A in Acts, which is the attention getter. So you want to grab the reader's attention and pull them in so that they want to keep reading your writing. There are lots of different ways to do this. I always say start with a quote, start with a question, or start with a shocking statement. Um, there are other ways. You could start with giving some background information. You could start with an anecdotal, which is just a very, very short, short, short story. You could start with some personal experience that relates to the topic you're about to write about. So, for example, if you're going to write about Katniss, you may write about some time that you had to display great strength to survive something. You can start out by giving your thoughts or your opinions on whatever the issue is that you're writing about. Or you can give a really creative example, um, like, can you imagine if, what if this happened? Things like that. Um, and it talks about even more techniques, like emotionally charged words in the beginning. Um, and a quote is the next one which I talked about. Um, you could use a, a kind of funny or shocking play on words. So there are lots of different things you can do, but you need to know what you're writing about before you can even start this, right? Our topic is going to be, you're basically writing an argumentative essay telling me who you think the strongest character is in The Hunger Games. And that doesn't have to mean physical strength. You know, think about the strongest, most unique, most intriguing character of all the characters in the novel and in the movie. And who would you choose? Once you choose your character, you're going to think of three words that describe them. So you're looking for three characteristics 
to describe your person. And let's go ahead and move down here to look at the samples. So if you are writing about Katniss, um, you could start out, you could model your paragraph after this one. Inner conflict can be caused by so many events and people around us. Katniss certainly had some inner conflict, right? So they're kind of starting out with their own thoughts on the issue. You can see just based on the format that they have several sentences. Um, the first one is their opinion and it does draw the reader in. If there are some connector sentences in the middle that kind of connect the uh, topic sentence to the thesis and the thesis is the very last sentence at the end. So here's our thesis sentence. One such character is Brutus. Here it is. Brutus's internal struggles are caused by the actions and non-actions of the people around him, including his best friend Caesar, his fellow Senator Cassius, and his rival Mark Anthony. So I know that in this paper, they're going to talk about Brutus's internal struggles. They're going to talk about the fact that they're caused by other people, and in particular, these three other people. So basically, I know that the first body paragraph will be about his friend Caesar causing these str uh, struggles. The second body paragraph will be about Cassius causing these problems. And the third body paragraph will be about Mark Anthony causing these struggles. So think of this as a road map. First, you're going to take me to Caesar, then to Cassius, finally to Mark Anthony, and then you'll write a conclusion to wrap it all up. 